my beloved love. Love embraced my spirit, and all my doubts vanished at once. A new and glorious robe of honor was placed on my shoulders. Love offered me the power of new vision and the transforming touch of divine generosity and placed the chalice of eternal wine in my hand. Rumi. And the guidebook also says, This oracle comes to you with sacred portent. You are fast approaching a moment of great leap, an evolutionary shift on your path. Your sense of yourself and your divine identity is about to be revealed and realized in a way more potent than ever before. This is wonderful. It is a divine happening you must allow. Do not confuse humility with humiliation. Do not humble yourself excessively. You do not have to battle with false pride either. Simply honor yourself as a living being worthy of life, worthy of this royal path of divine realization. What a gift it is to cast aside belief in inferiority or superiority, unhelpful as those notions are for you now. What a gift instead to embrace your own path, irrespective of what any other may think, whether they hold it in glory or division, who cares? Not you, nor I. Your royal heritage has been revealed, and in seeing the divinity within yourself, you become blessed to see it in all beings, all beings returning to the realization of royalty. I am not going into this reading feeling a hundred percent myself energetically. However, I still wanted to record it, because I know that whenever I am experiencing something individually, it tends to speak to something collectively as well. And I actually feel that that could be a major message coming through for someone right at the beginning of this reading, which is you are experiencing feeling everything for a reason. And also, you are never an island. Whatever you are going through or experiencing, know that you are not alone in it. In fact, you are right on the leading edge of a lot of massive collective shifts taking place. And even more so than that, you are actually leading the way through many of these collective shifts. I kept getting messages today, some of which I shared in a recent Instagram post about someone who, from a human perspective, may have been perceiving themselves to be behind the curve when it came to a particular area of their life. If you haven't yet seen that post, you can check it out on my Instagram, which is at Magnetize Yourself. But for those of you who did see it, I know that there was a lot of resonance there around the idea that stuck feelings we might have are, in a sense, indicating to us where our greatest points of purpose are in our life. Because very often, as souls, we actually choose to take on a certain amount of shadow, a certain amount of darkness or hardship in highly specific areas of our life, and we do this essentially to get a crash course in evolving in those areas, which then transforms us into teachers and leaders in whatever that particular element is. So, of course, this is going to look very unique for each of you here listening. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe.